Today I got an Asus laptop. It's got a bad battery. I'm gonna install it, open it up, show you how to do that, install a new battery. So let's get to it. Hey guys, Dale here. Thanks for watching. Today I have an Asus laptop. It's an F555U model. It has a bad battery. I have a brand new battery I got here that I'm gonna install. I'm gonna open it up, show you how to do that. I did a battery health test using the Windows, you know, the PowerShell. Uh, confirmed that the battery is pretty much toast. Total charge on this thing. They get maybe 45 minutes to an hour out of it. It is an older laptop, probably about a sixth generation. It's Core i7. Um, it runs really good, but it has crappy battery in it. So I'm gonna open it up. Now, underneath here, I did remove all the screws already, and I took the little inspection for the little cover off here where you can remove the RAM module. There's just one screw holding this in. But I removed all the screws. Now on this model, if you look over here, it has three different length screws. I just lay them out in a pattern with the laptop turned upside down on the front face of me so you can get them back in the right holes. You got one length here across the front, then you have one length here on the sides and, and in the middle and the back, and then the two screws nearest the hinge are a different length, so three lengths overall. So I'm going to take my spudger tool here, a little plastic triangle spudger tool. These things are easy to get online. I'll have a link down below where you can buy these if you want to open yours up. So I'm going to start right here in the seam where the silver meets the black. These I've done lots of these. These aren't too bad to open. So I'm going to just get my spudger in here. Start carefully working it up. Now the whole palm rest is going to lift up, but there's a couple of ribbon cables underneath we have to disconnect. So you don't want to just go ahead and yank this up. It might damage something. So let's, we just got to get it kind of broke loose. They're a little stubborn sometimes. The CD-ROM drive stays in. You don't have to remove that first on this on these models. Keep pushing it back down with my hand. There. So you just gotta be patient, kind of working around. Can't hold on to this thing today. <clears throat> so I just gotta get it worked up here, guys, along the front. Be careful around this touch pad area. Nope. Doesn't usually they come up, but sometimes along the back here you gotta be a little persuasive. Oh, that one kind of came right up. So now I have it loose. But if you look down inside here underneath, you can see these two cables over here. There's a cable here for the keyboard, and you got one here for the touchpad that I'm gonna disconnect. Get back up just a hair there. And take my little tool here little pointy plastic tool and flip these little levers up or you can use your fingernail if you got one but be very careful you don't break those oh there we go so then it just slides back out like that so now we can get rid of the palm rest and here's our battery right here guys <clears throat> so we got several screws we got to remove here one right oh wrong screwdriver I, oh, I'm using a number zero magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver number zero works good Sorry if my hand gets in the way So we have a screw here a screw here and we have a screw here The battery connects right over here in this area, right to the main board. You can't really see it until you get it out. So I'm going to use a tool here and just kind of slide it back a little bit. Just like that. Connects right there. There's our old battery. We'll recycle that. And here's our brand new battery. It pretty much only goes in one way, but be careful when you're connecting it. Just remember, once you connect it, gonna have power in there make sure it seats in good kind of lines up pretty much one way we put our screws back in plug it in for about two to three hours let it fully charge and we should be good 
There's several different tests you can do for your batteries, but the Windows one you can run from the power cell gives you a lot, excuse me, a lot of inf different information. Just gotta make sure I got that in there on the way, guys. Yes, a minute. That's not so right with me. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll make sure that's lined up. I don't want to take it back apart. There it goes. Sorry, just just wasn't snapping in the little plastic retainer there. That's all. Got to get it right. This is just a quick little repair. I want to show you how I do it. So like I said, just three screws, holds that in. Now we gotta reconnect our two cables here. It's a little tricky to do. It's best to have somebody help you hold the palm rest up if possible. Get that back over here. Make sure everything's good. This is the onboard memory right here. <clears throat> so kind of line it up in the back and I'm gonna start with the keyboard connector here first. You can see we're just going to slide it back into the slot along the black bar so it lines up the white line on the cable there. So I know my hand's in the way, but you got to get in there. So I've done enough of these. I can do it with just two hands and don't have to use my third hand. So now we're going to hook the touch pad back up here as well. Just got to make sure you get them all the way up to the line. Give you enough extra cable here which is nice some of these models they don't give you much at all just got to get a hold of it bear with me all right we're good so we can reconnect it we're gonna set it back down just do a quick snap back in place <clears throat> Pretty easy battery replacement on this model. Not too bad. Snap in good. We're good there. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna plug it in and let it charge for about three hours probably. Um, make sure you get all your screws back in the right holes. That's very important. And we should be good to go with a brand new battery. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.